is to go over something. This is a phrasal verb. And again, this is a, a phrasal verb that I took from chapter seven. I read chapter seven to you the other day of David Copperfield. And this is one of the words that we talked about while we read that chapter. So let's practice this phrasal verb, go over, which means to examine something, to look at something closely and carefully. Let's practice using it in some sentences. Here is a situation. Before John signed the contract, he examined it very carefully. He read it very carefully. Instead of saying he read it very carefully, we can just say go over. Before signing the contract, he went over it. Before signing the contract, he went over it. Uh, now, let's say before signing it, he went over it. Before signing it, he went over it. Uh, let's change this to a passive voice sentence. So instead of focusing on he, let's focus on the contract. The contract. The contract was. The contract was gone over. The, the contract was gone over. Now let's make a why question with this sentence. Why? Why was? Why was the contract? Why was the contract gone over? Why was the con why was the contract gone over before signing it? Why was the contract gone over before signing it? And here is the answer. To make sure all of the details were correct. To make sure all of the details were correct. The contract was gone over. The contract was gone over before signing it. The contract was gone over before signing it to make sure. The contract was gone over before signing it to make sure all of the details were correct. Oh, that's a pretty long sentence. Okay, let's try another example of using go over, meaning examine something. Look at something carefully. Here's another situation. Mike is buying an old car. He wants to be sure that it is in good working order before he buys it. So he examines the car very carefully. He opens the hood and he checks the engine and all of the connections and all of the things you might want to check before buying a car. Instead of saying that he examined the car carefully, we can use go over. He went over. He went over the car. He went over the car before buying it. He went over the car before buying it. Now let's change this into a passive voice sentence. In other words, let's focus on the car instead of he. The car. The car was. The car was gone over. The car was gone over before. The car was gone over before buying it. Now let's make a why question with that sentence. The car was gone over before buying it. Why? Why was? Why was the car? Why was the car gone over? Why was the car gone over before? Why was the car gone over before buying it? Let me find the answer. <laughs> uh, to make sure there were no major problems. <laughs> That's the answer. To make sure there were no major problems. The car was gone over. The car was gone over before buying it. The car was gone over before buying it to make sure there were no major problems. All right, let's move on to our next vocabulary word. This is a phrase. Again, this is a phrase that we found in chapter.